What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, we're going to have a candid video. Guys, Tooks, I know you guys are going to make a comment. She chooses to be there. Actually, she's closed up today because we got Olive. Olive, hey, come here. Come on. Come on. Come up. This is Olive. Oh, you guys can't see her. What are you doing, Olive? Say, hi, I'm Olive. All right, Olive, she is like our fellow dog. Tooks will bite the mess out of her. Um, Olive she's a soft dog she gets wrecked <laughs> um, but anyways guys uh, in this video we're gonna talk about the quote-unquote phantom rotation am I rotating should you rotate what's everyone doing guys remember there's one thing I've been tweeting about it as well there's one thing called consensus right and non-consensus right when you're non-consensus right your children's children will thank you however if you're non-consensus wrong, well, then you basically just get wrecked. And kind of breaking down what non-consensus right is, it's basically being right about something when everyone is wrong about it. And then you have consensus right, which is being right about something and everyone's right about it. Well, you can't really make any money if everyone's already right about it. But this is not financial advice. This is just my opinions, guys. Um, and this isn't saying phantom is non-consensus right, but the reason I say this is you guys need to think for yourselves. Um, if you guys are just going by what some YouTuber says or going by what someone else says, well, you're picking the wrong things because that's how you get pumped and dumped on. By the way, I'm just letting you know. But anyways, guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys why me personally, I am not rotating out of Phantom and explain my thoughts. So the reason why I'm somewhat still into Phantom, actually, for the most part, most of my Phantom actually is still in the protocol. I did uh, sell out of like some of the more risky ones, uh, like I was mentioning in Discord. Um, there's like the wild farm. I'm not saying it's a, a bad one, but it's more risky. So the altcoins will bleed when Phantom is going down. So say for example, Phantom goes down a dollar, the alt, quote unquote other altcoins, the DGen alts, they could go down. Well, when I say one dollar, I mean like 33%. The DGen alts could go down even more, like 50, 60%. They're usually reflexive, and the opposite is true. So if it goes up, it'll go up way more. That's how you can make money on altcoins too, but similar to like Bitcoin. So Bitcoin goes up, altcoins go amazingly up. Now, if Bitcoin goes down, altcoins go amazingly down. It's the same concept with Phantom and their ecosystem coins, and same thing with Avalanche. Bro, you just chilling, aren't you? What you doing, Olive? You just chilling, bro. Chilling. <laughs> Dude, she's the goofiest dog. Um, but anyways, so the reason why I'm not rotating out of Phantom, yes, I did go into other chains and other ecosystems, but I still kept my Phantom plays. So mainly I got rid of some of the DGen alts. I put some into Phantom and then others into other ecosystems. If you guys are in Discord, you kind of already know what I'm farming. Um, but kind of like a TLDR, what I'm looking at still is like Cosmos, Secret Network, Terra Luna, you guys get the point. There's several other chains out there, and I'm talking about them in the Discord. So I'm kind of explaining my strategies there. Anyways, guys, um, Phantom, there's just one of those things about Phantom that it's like the, the community is very strong. Like, it, they're incentivizing the developers instead of the parasitic farmers, us. So instead of just going out there and saying, yeah, we're going to pay every single person just this, this, and this, they're actually paying the developers, and the developers can choose to, hey, let's go ahead and incentivize the users, or hey, let's use this to market and grow our team. Why is this important? Well, you get a whole different scope of community in that way. The, what do I mean by this? Well, you're actually marketing to a whole entire different audience. So instead of actually dealing with the parasitic farmers, which would normally be your audience. Instead, now you have the developers as your audience. So you're going to be bringing more and more developers and coming up with more creative protocols. Now, let me give you an example of this. Let me explain to you Avalanche. So what did Avalanche had? Okay, it had Trader Joe, which is also SushiSwap, which is on Ethereum. Okay, great. Awesome. I get it. Okay, now what? Well, you had Pangolin. Well, Pangolin is literally just like what? Uniswap. Oh, okay, cool. Well, nothing really different there. Okay, well, no, there is something different. Trust me, there is. We had Snowball. Well, how was Snowball different? 
No, it's just an auto compounder with maybe like a tiny little twist that was similar to urine finance. Mm. Nah, there, there's got to be one. I know there is one. What about yield yak? That was a game changer. I, I know it was. Guys, it was literally just beefy finance or auto farm. Same junk, different day. <laughs> now, let me go ahead and explain to you Phantom. What have they got on Phantom? Well, they got tar tater tot. Taro is actually what it's called. Um, they, they have leveraged yield farming. Now, yeah, that's sure. It's already on Alpaca. Yeah, I get that. that that's already there. That's on Binance Smart Chain. It, it's also in Permax. However, they did something different. They actually separated them into separate vaults. And what did this do? This actually boosted the APRs and APYs. And now they're bringing X Taro. So now you're going to be having the ability to stake something and earn a bunch of the fees that they earn. If you don't believe me, they don't earn a bunch of fees. We'll do this. Go to the difference between the borrow and the lend, like the spread between them, and see what the difference is. That actually, most of that goes to the Taro protocol. So once you have Xterra, what happens to it? Oh, it goes to the Xterra staker. Get the point, guys? All right, so the next one is, well, Spirit Swap. What's different? Wait, no, it's not real. They have boosted farms, guys. They have InSpirit. No one else did that. I mean, if you look at Phantom <laughs> Ecosystem, they have different protocols and different tokens. In fact, in my opinion, I think they coined the term locking up your tokens like four years, five years, and coming back and getting incentivized and paid to do it. What's also interesting is they have another coin called ZooCoin. Now, ZooCoin gives progressive farming. Now, what is progressive farming? Well, instead of farming just like getting 10%, 20% APRs, well, the longer you stake in that pool, you're actually earning more and more, and it multiplies the amount that you've already earned. Yes, they've had multiple Xs, like if you stake into a pool long enough, they'll give you like 2X, 3X rewards, etc. However, with progressive farming, if you earn $100 and that ticker turns into, instead of 2%, it goes to 4% and doubles, well, now you're going to just automatically get a 2% boost on it. Sure, it's a $2 boost, but say you're farming with $1,000. Now that's 20 bucks. Now it's $10,000. Now it's $200 bonus. And that, that's just the 2%. They also go all the way up to 88%. Just look at the yields and look at the farms. It's pretty interesting, and it's an interesting concept. Now, the next one is Spooky Swap. How is this different? Guys, they literally built the bridge into the junk to make it easier for people to get over there. So what is so special about that? Well, it makes it easier on the user and there's no fees to get into there. Uh, guys, believe me, I know you guys did this too. You guys are like, USDC, whoa, it's trading for like a premium on Avalanche. I'm gonna go over there and bridge it over. You bridge it over and then you realize that it's USDC E. And then you get over there and you're like, oh, well, actually USDC E is selling for 90 cents over here, not $1. So then you actually theoretically get wrecked. Yes, there are different ones. Yes, you have Binance Smart Chain USDC, and then you have Ethereum USDC, and then you have Avalanche at USDC. There's an entire difference. And their bridge, yes, the bridge experience was amazing, but what was wrong with it? Well, it gave you assets that you thought you were going to get and you didn't get and the liquidity there was like complete weak sauce it was not cool it was like bro i just got wrecked and i got a salty taste in my mouth and now i'm stuck over here as soon as i get a pump i'm dumping i'm leaving or actually if it's dumping i gotta sell then everyone knows i buy high sell low everyone knows to do that that is like the best strategy that's what everyone does of course that's not financial advice but that's how it rolls anyways guys let me explain to you one other protocol that, in my opinion, that is just like entirely different is Tomb Finance. Guys, Tomb Finance is complete fire sauce. Actually, Harry is complete fire sauce. <clears throat> but I've been talking about that in the Discord. But if you look at Phantom, it's, it's one of those things like if you look at Tomb, this thing literally came out, I think it was in February. And the mechanics behind this protocol is like insane it's like how did you come up with something like this it's a seniorage model but it's it gets really really technical but in reality you didn't even have a farm like that on binance smart chain they were literally just copycats of what's already on ethereum 
and they just threw it on Binance Smart Chain. So it's what Ethereum is with lower fees. Now with Phantom, they're actually coming up with different junk. That's like entirely different. But of course, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm gonna leave you with two more things. And the first one is, well, if you don't understand how a DAG works, it works like this. So if the protocol or actually the chain itself has more transactions, it actually speeds up the blockchain. So in my opinion, I haven't seen any other blockchain that gets faster with usage. In fact, look at Ethereum. It actually got slower with usage because it gets more congested. I'm not saying Ethereum is trash. In fact, Ethereum is my favorite coin. Um, but it, it just has some issues with the blockchain. You can't farm with it. It kind of stinks. I miss it. But you can still farm some good ones like Olympus Dow and um, with uh, Bancor Network. There's in Tokamak. Don't sleep on Tope. Tok Tok Tok. Those are a lot of fun as well. But that's the first thing. I don't want to go off on a tangent. The second one is the community, guys. The community here is straight fire. Like, they are... I mean, just go to Phantom Alerts. Watch his YouTube channel. Give a shout-out to him. Or I'm giving a shout-out to him. That guy busts his buns. And, man, dude, he's got such a great story. I love that guy. Austin, shout-out to you, buddy. Uh, anyways, guys, um, the community is straight fire. Like, when Tomb Finance had that issue. Um, it wasn't a hack, it was actually an exploit. Um, and it was already a known exploit. And the whole entire Phantom ecosystem literally just came all together and was like, bro, how can we help you? It wasn't like, bro, you're such a loser. We hate you, we're gonna kill you. Or like, oh, another one bites the dust. Let's go and move, oh, I told you, you shouldn't have touched that junk. No, they were like, hey, how can we help? We need, we need to fix this, let's do something. I mean, even Harry Ye came out and propped the sucker up and fixed it. I, I'm not saying it's fully fixed, but the point is, it's like the community is like, everyone's looking out for each other. If you don't believe me, let me give you another example, Reaper Farm. Now, Justin Beavis uh, behind Reaper Farm, that guy's straight fire. I wanna give a shout out to him as well. Dude, keep doing what you're doing, cause straight killing it, man. Um, you are bringing a lot of innovation to this industry, so thank you. It was unfortunate. Yeah, they had a uh, hack as well, but guess what happened? The community came together, they put together a fund, and they were able to repay all the hacked funds. Guys, this is, this is the phantom ecosystem. This is the phantom way. Like, I haven't seen this anywhere else. And yes, phantom may get wrecked, but I would rather get wrecked with the community than get wrecked by myself. So this is just my thoughts. This is just uh, my opinions. Um, this is my case for Phantom, I guess you could say. I'm not saying it's going to pump. I'm not going. To, I'm not saying it's going to dump. I'm not going to say it's going to stay the same. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm bullish long term. I do know that, and the community here is awesome. And what I do know is when you're investing in strong communities and looking at strong communities you get rewarded in the long term. Believe me, just take a look at a couple of examples in the real world. Look at Facebook. I mean, I know y'all hate Facebook. I know you like whatever, but there was a couple buddies together. They were like, hey, this is great, this is great. And they built a community, everyone liked Facebook. And then what happened? It started growing and growing and growing and growing. Guys, that's a good example. Uh, that's an example of a really strong community. You don't wanna get with a community that's here. I wanna make 100X. Well, what happens with that? Well, when they make a negative 100x, what happens? Oh, well, they leave. They get wrecked. They get mad. They start cursing at each other. They start screaming. They start tearing their t-shirts and they're like, bro, I hate you. I'm going to kill you. And then some people actually do kill themselves. Um, it's unfortunate that people would kill themselves over money when money is really just an object and money really doesn't matter. Like whether you have a ton of money or no money, happiness time family is what really matter i would much rather be eating ramen every night living in a tent and warming my hands over by the fire and being with the family than i would be on a multi-billion dollar multi-million dollar mansion on my own private island and just being alone there i would not want that it's unfortunate that some people actually think that's like the best or even moon lambo this is so cool no guys it's it's really not that cool it's not that fun actually in fact i bet your buns some of those billionaires they just wish they could have just just 
some time of privacy just with their family without cameras just snapping in the back like whoa whoa can we talk to you whoa 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 instead it's like i just want to be with my family bro just chill leave me alone i mean it's like one of those things i mean just listen to a couple of kobe bryant interviews i love that guy but man in those interviews he he literally says the best days of his life the best times in his life are with his family and then with his son. Just let that sink in. That guy's won so many championships. <laughs> that guy is literally MVP. It was named MVP I don't know how many times. This guy is literally plastered everywhere. And they even compare him to Michael Jordan. How would you like to say I've been compared to Michael Jordan? It's all, well, actually, I could say that. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But that would be so awesome. I mean, just think about it. And that guy literally co quotes and says, my best times in my life are with my family and my son. Not that last second buzzer beater, that winning shot, or winning the NBA playoffs. No, that wasn't it. Sorry to go off on a tangent, guys. Just wanted to kind of explain my thoughts. But that's why, or that's my case for Phantom. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are looking to rotate, um, there are a couple of protocols that I am looking at. Um, you guys can actually check them out in the Discord. There's a link in the description below. Yes, it is paid for. Um, I'll just give you guys like a hint, hint. It has something to do with the Cosmos ecosystem and maybe with a little bit of harmony. Not as much harmony, but don't sleep on Cosmos, guys. There's a lot of protocols going on over there. Take a look into them. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. We're in Proverbs chapter 15, verses 16. Better a little with fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Dude, literally, this is our next verse. I, I didn't even pick this out. Like, this is, this is crazy. But listen, better a little with fear of the Lord than great wealth, like we just talked about, with turmoil. You would not want to have great wealth with turmoil or just with just you being on the earth. I mean... That's why these mega billionaires, sometimes if they don't have a wife or they can't get a girlfriend, they buy them. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys don't believe me, but they're, they're called gold diggers. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.